This is the first time I have picked up my camera to record anything work related since early May. Um, I've been unwell for quite a few weeks, um, but I'm doing better now, slowly but surely, um, trying to get back on my feet, and I don't even know where to start. So here is what my workshop looks like. All this stuff just got dumped here. Um, I closed down one of the shops and so the overflow that I can take to the other shop ended up here. Here is my last shop. This was the day that I cleared everything out and I will be doing a video on why I closed down this space. But for today's video we are going to focus on this hutch. This is a custom order that I've had since May 17th. The customer has been very, very patient and gracious with me. So my goal is to get this finished and have it out of the space. So for the color for this hutch, we are using Black Velvet by DIY Paint. I will link it in the description of this video if you do want to purchase that. Now, for DIY paint, all you have to do is clean your pieces really well because it sticks to practically any surface. So that is very helpful because I was really sick as I am painting this, you guys. I know you can't tell, but I was extremely sick. And so having to not do that extra step of sanding and priming really helped me out and I am so grateful. So after we paint this, we are going to seal it, of course. I'm going to use DIY Big Top and then we will follow up using DIY Dark Wax and I'll show you in a minute. Right now, multitasking is the name of the game. I am so far behind with work. Uh, so while the hutch is drying, I wanted to show you guys the new greenery that I purchased wholesale from Lancaster. And this is going to go into the shop. And I think it's going to make the shop look really nice and really inviting. So now let's get back to sealing the hutch. Here's a little hack for you. Anytime I'm sealing something using a, using a clear coat, I always take a little bit of the paint color and I dip it in. This way you don't have any risk of running that white residue as your top coat dries. So I took my big top in a separate container of course, I dipped a little bit of the black velvet and I mixed it up really well and then I went ahead and I sealed my hutch. And I let it dry for about two days before I could come back and add the wax. Now, Big Top is a sealer, so I really could have stopped here, but I've been in my client's home. She's had some renovations, and so I have an idea to really make this hutch feel like it belongs with the rest of her design. So what I want to do here, I'm taking my dark wax and I'm adding some brown wax in it. What this does is give that dark wax a little bit of an antique look because while the hatch is black, I don't want it to be too black. I want to put a little brown in it so it has that little bit of antique feeling and this is going to play really well against her new uh, wooden cabinets. So I'm just mixing these together and once it's mixed well and creamy, I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. Again, this is DIY Dark Wax and I will link it in the description below. Here we are a few days later. I've let my wax sit on there for quite some time. It's been a few days. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the glass, clean the inside, and this is just making sure that when I deliver this hatch, it's gonna be in really great shape. So I always make sure to clean at the inside and the outside and all the little nooks and crannies that you think no one will notice, but your clients will notice. And once this is done, I am going to be finished with this hatch, you guys. I'm so excited. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take it outside and we are going to do some fun staging.
Nothing below, nothing above. No matter how low I get, Lord, you are enough. Nothing can separate me from your love. Nothing can separate me from your love. Lord, you are King of Kings. I'm here to give you everything. It's my whole life that I am offering. I give it over to the King of Kings. I give it over. Separate me from your 